Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Um, I want to go over how uh, the best way is to treat uh, warts. This is for you if you've been dealing with warts for a long time, you can't get rid of them. If you're one of my patients, I'm making this for you uh, to kind of go over my whole treatment process. Um, at the end, I'm going to go over my treatment sheet, which is the, the sheet that I tend to fill out in the treatment uh, office with you. Um, so let me kind of go through through this here. The, the main question a lot of my patients have is, uh, do I have a wart or do I have a callus? And um, that can be a mistake people are unsure of. Sometimes really deep calluses are kind of treated as warts, but there's a difference. The main difference is that warts have skin lines that go around it because it's a virus, so the interrupted skin lines. And the callus has skin lines that go right through it. That's the main difference when you look at the area of the tissue. Also, warts tend to have these little black dots in there. Not every case is the same, but um, they're, they're very similar, especially these ones that really deep like this. This is called a porokeratoma, which looks very similar. Um, underneath this video, I'm going to put a link to some information if you want to know more specifically about porokeratomas. There is a, a video on that as well. Okay. Um, so where do you get it? If you can get it anywhere um, because it's viral, um, typically the uh, pool, cut in the skin, wet or damp skin are from others that have warts. Okay, so what can I do to get rid of it? You can really do anything that creates an immune response that'll help your body to recognize it. Um, sometimes it can go away, but if it persists more than three to six months, you should probably seek treatment. It doesn't tend to go away on its own that way. There are some home treatments you can try, and a lot of people will Google this or look on Amazon. You can try duct tape, apple cider vinegar, uh, topical salicylic acid, which I'll go over because it's something that I use as well. Uh, taping a penny, freeze away, burning, cutting. There's thousands of others. If it doesn't get better, you should come in and see someone. Um, what I find most effective at this time is combination therapy. So it's a, a couple of different things. Um, I tend to use SWIFT, which is microwave therapy, in combination in the office with either cantharidin or laser. And then within combination with you at home with Carac or Aldera. So all this combination, you can certainly choose to do one, but I find that um, hitting it in multiple methods uh, can make it work better. A microwave therapy, I'll go over a little bit afterwards. What it is, is it uses it to heat up the area and creates an immune response. It works much more quickly than cantharidin or laser, which I've done for years. Uh, but up till now, it re recently added swift microtherapy. So instead of, let's say, five to 10 visits using this other combination, now we can get it down to three visits. So it speeds things up by using the microwave therapy. Um, the cantharidin is a blistering agent. Laser is causing a blood blister. And then Carac or Aldera are creams that you can put on uh, and then pumicing it down. So um, when do you remove it? Well, I, I remove warts still if there's like one to two warts. It's the quickest treatment if you want to just get rid of it. The problem is there's risks of recurrence uh, if you don't get everything out and there's risks of scarring. So I put together this treatment evaluator. Um, I like to explain this to patients. What is most effective and what is least effective? Um, I find that in terms of effectiveness, the SWIFT is most effective if you're going to do isolated therapy. But once again, I try to do combinations. So I'm going to do SWIFT with cantharidin or maybe even laser and then some topically. Okay, that's kind of how I do it. And then what I do is when I look like it's almost gone, then I'll put on salicylic acid and see people back at a longer interval. So normally the interval here are two to four weeks for these treatments. And then the interval after I put salicylic might be two months just to make sure that there's no, and there's no further wart. In terms of discomfort, the surgical removal is the most uncomfortable. And also I guess you could say SWIFT and these other ones would kind of be in here. Um, swift, a laser, and then um, these topicals are really, there's no discomfort. And then complications, the, I guess the main complication would be um, would be with surgery. I guess there would be a complication of scarring or recurrence, but the other ones, they're just blistering. The, that's the really the biggest complication uh, for that. To learn a little bit more about SWIFT, I want to show you here how it works. It's really 85% effective with an average of two to three treatments, which is very superior to what we were doing with cantharidin, which was maybe, sometimes it was two to three, but a lot of times it can be five to 10 visits. Um, and it also has less than uh, like a 1% recurrence rate, which is great. A lot of the other traditional treatments were a 10% recurrence rate. Um, and so what it does is it impacts and causes microwave therapy or microwave uh, waves to go into the skin and penetrates all around the area. It uses low dose microwave energy. The tissue temperature is rapidly elevated. Uh, the immune system is alerted and your body attacks the virus. So really like the other ones, it gets your body to work and it resolves the lesion and prevents recurrence. The treatments are, are four weeks apart. And then after that, you do a three month follow-up to make sure it's really gone. Um, here are some before and after pictures of warts, kind of before and after um, on the side of the toe, before and after, um, right here, before and after. 
different types of lesions. And you can see here in two to three visits, these are gone. These are the, I guess, probably the best one for Swift would be uh, something called the mosaic wart, which is a really huge one. In the past, we see people for, let's say, 20 or 30 visits, and I think Swift could really speed things up for patients. Um, so if you think you are a, a good candidate, I'll put some information underneath. Um, you can come into the office for an evaluation, okay, or to learn more. And then the last thing I wanted to go over with you guys would be this here. This is my treatment sheet. This is what I give patients in the office. Um, when we talk about office treatments, there is Swift, Cantharid, and Laser, Selenocaine. A lot of times I'm doing these things in conjunction. So I would check the box. I would do Swift and let's say Cantharid in, and then they would give them a prescription at the first visit. Usually I do 5-fluorouracil. And then you're going to put that on after a couple of days after the blistering comes down from the cantherdin. You'll apply it and that you'll do that with occlusion, which is a plastic wrap. Um, I'll either do 5-fluorouracil or Aldera. Both of these are prescriptions. You can't just get these over the counter. And then you might do a drying agent. And then a pummy bar just is used to get that dead skin off. And then I also recommend if, if anyone at the household has uh, other issues, they should be treated as well. And then here is uh, another video if you want to watch kind of a video about the, the other treatment process about this, okay? And then a couple of notes. If it comes back in the same location, it was never really gone. If it comes back in a new location, it is a, a new problem. So hope you guys found this beneficial. If you have any questions, post them underneath the video. And uh, thank you for watching.